morning, afternoon and evening my crazies and my name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a foundation double crochet chain. Now these I think these are ideal for when you're starting blanket scarves and things like that. It gives um, your fabric a lot more bounce and a lot more movement than what it would normally but have if you did a chain followed by a double crochet um, on the return leg. So it is really, really easy and really simple once you've done it a few times. Okay, so I am now going to show you how to do it. So what you're gonna need is your chosen yarn and a hook. It's that simple. I'm using a DK yarn and a size four millimeter hook. So to do your foundation double crochet chain and what we're going to do is make a slip knot and pop it on your hook and we are going to uh, chain up three into this third chain from your hook you're going to hook over and place your hook through pull up your yarn hook over again pull through one oh i said one there we go hook over pull through two hook over and a pull through two okay so that is your very first double crochet so and now we're going to do that again and the placement of it this time round is if you turn it turn your work you will see that you have got your little v's forming on the bottom here so you're going to take that end v making sure that you get under both parts of your work Sorry, this is a bit awkward for me because I can't actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Ow. Right, so we go into both parts of the work like that. Hook over and pull through. Hook over, pull through one. Hook over, pull through two. Hook over, pull through two. So what you're going to do now is you're going to carry on doing your chain in the same method, okay? So it's a hook over and go through both parts of that single stitch at the bottom pull up your yarn hook over pull through one hook over pull through two hook over pull through two now when you're doing this and make sure that that very first pull through here is kept quite loose all right the tighter it is the more stable and thick the fabric will be let's do that section again for you as i have been talking we are going to hook over and we are going to place our hook through that v at the bottom hook over and pull through keep this stitch loose hook over pull through one hook over pull through two hook over pull through two so again next stitch hook over and go through your v hook over pull through Keep that stitch loose, hook over, pull through one, hook over, pull through two, hook over, pull through two. And just keep going until your chain um, is the length that you need. So now you've finished that chain. Uh, congratulations, I hope you enjoyed uh, working this stitch. Now, for ideas on what to use this for, follow this link. There is a pattern up there which is for a, a scarf and hat tutorial. So uh, pop over and have a look and see what you think. I'm going to head off now. I will see you all uh, really, really soon. Uh, please stay in and definitely stay safe. Ta-ra for now.